It's Tara, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I'm Tara, I'm a fashion content creator on YouTube and Instagram. But I asked you on Instagram to send in some questions, and I haven't done a QA and a in I don't even know how long, many years. I've done them on my Instagram stories, but I haven't done one in months. I haven't really looked at any of the questions, so these are going to be really on the spot answers. Also, welcome to my dining room floor, corner of the dining room. I don't know, I just felt like filming here. The lighting in my room is really bad. So that's why we're here, with this very old fireplace. <laughs> How did you decide on a theme or concept for your magazine? So if you guys don't know, I released a magazine last year and I mean, it was my third issue, but I won't really count the first two issues because they weren't very good. But last year was the first time that I sold my magazine online and in print. The theme of my magazine has always been the same from the beginning. It was made to showcase creatives that were upcoming and both established and to inspire other creatives to create i guess do their like make their own work and be inspired and i guess kind of use other people that i interviewed as an example of how you can enter the industry like, i guess i never really went into making my magazine have a specific theme um it was more so just featuring people that I thought were really cool, but it ended up just being all creatives and people in the creative industry. When I started my magazine in, I think it was 2014, I hadn't really seen any other magazines, especially in like mainstream publications that were solely focused on creatives and showcasing small creatives specifically. So I featured a lot of my friends like initially in like my first issue. Um, and that really did continue till my third issue last year. If you're interested, I still have digital copies of my magazine for sale on my website. I'll link that below if you guys want to have a look. When dealing with an eczema flare-up, how do you stay positive about yourself? I'm not always positive, but I feel like I've just accepted that having an eczema flare-up is something you can't really control. So there's like nothing you can really do about it. So there's no point in dwelling on like how bad you feel about yourself. I don't know, I'm sorry, that's not a very good answer. How old are you? I'm 22 turning 23 on the 30th of December this year. Where are your parents from? Because you look Asian, but I don't know what part of Asia. Both my parents are Chinese Indonesian. They both were born in Indonesia, but I have like, I guess my ancestors are from China. I'm a few generations Indonesian. Um, but I was born in Australia. I do have like Indonesian blood, but I think it's predominantly Chinese. Why don't you have the septum anymore? Okay, so I never actually had a septum. I posted one of my archive posts on my story and I think, and it looked quite legit because I used to make septums out of paper clips and I don't know like how, but whenever I took a photo in this one septum that I made, it made like the middle part between the bowls, like, look like it wasn't there so it looked like really legit um so i think that's why this person thought i had a septum but i never actually had a septum but i've always wanted one not always i mean since like year 10 i have wanted a septum but my parents are very strict and i still live at home even though i'm 22 but i mean i live under their roof so where do you want to be in five years that's a good question. I don't really set myself goals for where I want to be. Five years is a really long time. Five years ago, 2015, I had just finished school and I've done things that I never would have imagined myself doing. I, I don't know, like I don't have a specific place where I want to be, but I hope that I've achieved more and I've done things that I never would have expected myself right now to have done. And I hope that I have a job. <laughs> I feel like I'm currently in a space, and I guess everyone in the world is, where job security is really unstable. What will the job opportunities be like in five years? Like, are we still going to be in a pandemic? Hopefully not. Will we be in a different pandemic? It's so wild to think about how much can change in five years and what you never would have expected would happen. Saying that, like, I hope that I, I travel more, I make more friends, my family is still here, safe and healthy, I find a job and I'm just happy. Like I, I don't have anything specific. Love this Gucci kind of video, you're so funny love. Um, I made a TikTok and it was how to dress like a Gucci model, the audio. I posted on my story and I think I posted it right before I posted my Q&A box, question box thingy. Um, <laughs> 
Thank you. My TikTok is Tychanja underscore. You should follow me. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I think I have like a few like good outfit videos on there. What's your favorite painter? So I actually have like a few artists, um, not specifically painters, but I guess I'll just share like artists in general that I really enjoy. I really like Joey Yu or it's Joey Yu on Instagram. She is an incredible artist from London and she I believe works with mainly gouache, 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 I don't know, but her work is beautiful. I'll put it on the screen. There's just something about her work that is just so stunning. Like, I, it's like simple, but so detailed at the same time and the colors she uses, I love it. I also really like Laura Callahan illustration on Instagram. Her work is so, like, how do you even, oh, I just, I can't, I can't comprehend like how amazing people are at, drawing and just making art. Her work is so detailed and so unique, like nothing I've seen before. Once again, the colors and the detail is beautiful. Gentle Dot Oriental. They're a tattoo artist from New York. There was this one drawing that she posted three days ago, actually, and I loved it. It was like a modernized Shanghainese lady surrounded by all these traditional Chinese medicines. She referenced this, I, I believe it's like a vintage poster or something it's so cool like i love it because i recognize like most of these medicines and her other work is so sick who else do i like i follow so many incredible artists though girl where is it okay i had a break one because i couldn't find it and two because my sister came down crying um but i found the artist it's ram underscore underscore han once again i'm just like how do you even draw that like i, I just the line work, incredible. The colors, incredible. Their feed flows so nicely, like, it's just so perfect. Your biggest do's and don'ts in fashion. I think do is wear what you wanna wear and don't wear stuff just because it's a trend unless you like the trend. And I feel like fashion is open to whatever you want it to be. I literally filmed like a minute and a half of footage and then my camera died. So annoying, so I had to <laughs> wait again for it's a charge a little bit. What is your favorite Indonesian savory dish? I love gado gado and I love you. Aw, I love you too. I think my favorite Indonesian savory dish is probably bakmi bangka, um, which is basically like noodles and meat and it has chicken soup sort of thing with like beef and fish balls in it and vegetables. It's so good, like I love it. I also really like ayam goreng which is fried chicken. And since we're on the topic of Indonesian food, I love all the desserts as well. I love how they use pandan and palm sugar a lot, but my favorite um, Indonesian dessert is matabak. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? So I feel like my response to this question will surprise some people, but I really enjoy Sydney, so I want to live in Sydney for the rest of my life as, I guess, a base place, but I do want to live other places as well for shorter periods of time but I think Sydney will always be like my home and like Sydney is where I want to live when I get old as well um, I think that's just because like all my family is in Sydney and also all my friends are here I already know that I'm probably going to be the one that's looking after my parents when they get older but I do want to live in New York for a, maybe like a year or two Elle and I were talking about how we want to move there in like 2021 but obviously with the pandemic and everything it's probably not gonna happen, but it's definitely something that I want to do in my 20s. Oh, and why? I just think New York is one of like the creative hubs and I lived in London for a few months and I loved it and I probably wouldn't live there again just because it's so expensive. I think like I want to try New York because I love it. Um, I love the food there. I love the vibe. There's just so many cool people and I already know people from New York now. I always tell people this, but I feel like London is great for younger creatives and New York is great for mid-20-ish plus creatives. Round three. Oh my god, my camera died again. Um, so I let it charge for a bit longer this time. I have 29%. Hopefully we can finish this all, but I managed to start on an artwork for fabric for masks. So this is a side note. I designed fabric for masks for Saving Face Co, which is a startup, and I'll link it below. What's something you've learned during COVID isolation? I think I've learned that I really enjoy being home and 
not doing anything. I've always thought that I was an introvert that liked going out a lot and like I guess I still do but I think I try to push away like that introvert side of me that wanted to stay home and not do anything and I think like COVID has like really taught me that I really enjoy just being home and like doing whatever I want and having so much time on my hand allows me to find new hobbies and work on my existing hobbies but it's also taught me that I am also very lazy yeah <laughs> how do you take your creative energy and ideas and turn them into something real I think it's really hard it takes like a lot of effort to do that but once you get the ball rolling it'll be so much easier I think it just like everyone says this but taking the first step is the hardest but I promise you like once you start the end result will be so worth it. It doesn't matter how you get there, um, whether you have to like try different methods, whether you fail. Once you start the process, it's so much easier to know where you went wrong or know what you did well and work from there. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine, thank you. I think my period's coming, so I'm kind of PMSing, but besides from that, I'm, I've, I've been all right. A little bit tired, but you know. What did you study at uni? I studied a Bachelor of Business majoring in Marketing Communications at UTS. I can't believe it's been a year since I graduated, like two years since I actually finished class. Time flies. I've seen you a couple of times but I'm too awkward to come up to you. Do you find it weird if people um, come up to you and say hi? Literally not at all, like say hi. I'm kind of awkward but like it's cute, it's a vibe. Say hi. <laughs> What would you wear if you had a serious office job? Well, that's a good question because I'm actually starting an internship. I don't really know the dress code, but I'm assuming it's more office-y. On my first day, I'm gonna be wearing trousers and like a nicer top and jacket and then boots so I can suss what the dress code is. But I think I'll put that question in my next What Would Tara Wear? Thank you for watching this really low-key, chill Q&A. My brain is not working and my camera was like, we're not filming this today. I've just been so busy the past few weeks so I haven't had a chance to film another video which is why I'm just, I just decided to do a Q&A today. I've been trying to do consistent uploads but I ended up working full time plus babysitting right after my full time work. So it was very intense. I would literally do 9 to 5 work and then get home for one hour and then have to go to babysitting for like four hours after. I'm starting my internship next week. It's with a, a pretty well-known tech company. Let me know what you guys are up to as well. Thank you for joining me on my floor. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's tarachanta underscore. Subscribe and like this video and leave a comment and I'll see you hopefully next video.